All right, so in this video, I'm gonna to attempt to take this Air Force One and give it a little bit of flair. I'm gonna add this crazy print over top of it and to see uh, what it looks like. I think this is gonna be kind of fun to try out. I taped off some of the areas that I didn't want to get paint on them, but for the most part, it's supposed to be like an oil slick, so I'm just gonna let it go kind of crazy. Anyway, hopefully this works out. This is another Hydro Dip video on my channel. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. If you guys wanna buy some of the hydrographic prints, I'll give you guys a couple options in the description as well, as well as for the Air Force Ones. But I figured I would go ahead and give this a try. I did do a leather pair once already with Hydro Dip. It was a pair of Jordans and it worked out pretty good and it actually stuck to the material better than I thought. That's what I wanted to do uh, for the video. And if you guys do like this video, hit the thumbs up button and I will be doing more of these. I have a ton more to do. I have 25 prints to do and I have at least 15 pairs of white shoes that I have to Hydro Dip and I just haven't done it. So if you guys wanna see the videos, smash the like button. Let me know that you guys do wanna see them and I will try to be more consistent in uploading these. Now that the weather is nicer, I can go outside without the rain getting on me or whatever. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So to start off, I will be using the acetone to rub down the shoe just to see if it adheres better. I imagine so because uh, it definitely is gonna make it easier to stick to the leather with acetone. Then I will finish it off again with that matte finish here. And I use this Krylon stuff. I'm just gonna give it a try and see if this works. This might not be the one to use for this. I'm gonna give it a try though. It's something I bought, I figured why not. It is uh, for <laughs> arts and crafts stuff, but, uh, but I do have uh, other finishers from like Angelus and stuff, but I wanna just do an easy spray. So I'm gonna use this. All right, so I moved out to the garage space so I don't get anything on my fancy new resin table. Um, yeah, this is a much easier table to uh, destroy, just a little card table. I'm gonna do just a light little rub down of this. I wanna see what it does. I don't wanna do too much because uh, I don't want too much paint to come off of it. And these have to be dry if I'm going to be doing the hydro dip. So I don't want it to be too wet. But let's go ahead and do a wipe down real quick and just get that little initial finish off of the shoe. We're gonna to try to focus on this area right here. I don't want that air bubble to get in the mix and I don't wanna lift it up. To try to get it out because it looks like water is getting in over here already. So, uh, wish me luck. I'm gonna go in and down like this. All right. Ah, here we go. Crazy. A couple of bad spots on the shoe, but how freaking, how wild does that look? Holy Toledo. I left that there just for fun, just to leave it a little bit abstract looking. Yeah, that's rad. I gotta be a little bit slower next time, but it looks pretty decent.
Oh, I missed the whole section. Came too aggressive with the angle. Man, it did pretty good. Nice and slow through it, though. Abstract art, right? That's kind of what we're doing here anyway. But look at that. Sheesh. But right now, I got to go rinse them off in the sink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that finisher on so hopefully it will hold it together. This is the longest video to detape a shoot ever. It's like seven minutes long. Oh, she's coming. Keep coming. Do it, Keep coming, do Maddie. It. Come on. Mess. You can do it, Maddie. Uh, I'll clean this mess up. Oh my goodness, this is the first we've ever got Maddie to crawl. Mom, mom. Yeah, he did it. You did it, Maddie. Good job. You made now it all the way I to the shoes. All right, as you can see, this is a finished product and it came out okay. There was some things I really like about this and there's definitely some things that I learned that I need to do better next time around. But all in all, like I'm not mad at the job. It's definitely different than having just a white pair of Air Force Ones. Uh, one thing that I would do different that I think I can actually do now even is go back in and remove the swoosh here. I think it would be kind of fun to be able to have it gone and then it would look a little bit more uniform, have a white midsole then the white tongue and laces, and then the white swoosh right there. There's also the little hit of white right here because I covered this with tape, just really roughly, just for fun. Um, so that would be something that would change. The other thing, I actually did the tape off on the top part of the midsole notch instead of all the way up to the leather. And I obviously know now, like, I can't do that because this, it does not stick on, like, the rubber part. If you hit it on the wall or something or a corner, it definitely chips off. But if it's on the leather part, it actually is really, really durable, surprisingly. And this one, you can see, press on it and stuff, it doesn't crease, and it actually sticks on pretty good. You can see I'm scratching with my nail and it doesn't come off, and I'm actually scratching pretty hard. But it actually sticks on really well, which is actually the part that I'm the most impressed by. I didn't think it would stick on as good as it does on the Air Force One with the leather upper, but because of the way I treated it and then finished it, it definitely helped a thousand times better than what I would have anticipated. This part right here is one that I can actually probably fix. I could go back through and re-dip this section right here and then have it just be cleaner looking, but I mean, it's supposed to be an oil slick anyway, so it doesn't look that bad, just kind of half 
done. I wish this would have been on the inside of the shoe, but ultimately I don't hate the way that these look. But it's not something I would ever sell. Like it's, this is like one of those products that are so hard to create because you screw up a little teeny bit and then the entire shoe is not 100%. Like if you wanna have this look like it's straight out of the factory, it's gonna be really, really hard to replicate that uh, with Hydro Dip because it's so, so uh, meticulous and you have to make sure that you get everything right. You have to make sure that there's no air bubbles. Like right here, there's those air bubbles when I trapped it down when I was pushing it through the water. So little things like that are just kind of risks that come with doing the Hydro Dip. But this, in my opinion, is better still than doing the Hydro Dip with just the, the paint. A lot of people just do the paint in the water and swirl it around and then dip it through. At least this gives you some options with some cool prints. But again, it's really, really finicky and you have to make sure you do it just perfect. Otherwise, um, it will come out a little bit sloppy. And again, I'm okay with a little sloppy. Uh, it's my own personal product that I'm making. But just throwing the disclaimer out there for you guys, like it is not easy to do. Uh, I usually do a test run on a different pair of shoes, something I buy from Goodwill or something, just to give it a try first to see if it's even possible before I uh, go out and waste my effort and time and money to create something. But that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys do like these Hydro Dip videos, leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what other shoe you guys would like to see, what other prints you'd like to see. And I do have more on the way, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified of when the videos go live. And check out the playlist in the description if you want to see more Hydro Dip. Have a great great rest of the day and more videos soon. Peace guys.